This MTG box analysis will focus on the opening of a Phyrexia All-B1 draft booster box that took place on June 14th, 2023. We'll begin by taking a look at the cards that we were eligible to obtain from a draft booster box and compare that to the cards that we actually saw. Then we'll review set coverage, coverage by rarity, and duplication. To establish a baseline for value, we'll analyze the value of the set and then break down the actual observed value in the box by both foil and non-foil pricing. Finally, we'll conclude with a summary. If you want to go deeper into the analysis and see all of the metrics for this box and more than 100 others, simply join the channel at the Give Me the Data level. Let's jump into the contents of this box by comparing the cards that we were eligible to see versus the cards that we actually saw. Using this chart, we can see the non-foils we observed in green, the foils we observed in orange, and the cards we were eligible to see in gray as the baseline. In the non-foil space, we saw a variance of 15 cards between the primary colors of Magic, with red featuring 71 and blue featuring 86. We also saw 11 showcase cards and two borderless cards in non-foil. In the foil space, we saw between one and three cards for each of the primary colors of Magic, except for blue, where we didn't see any foils. Moving into coverage, we saw 230 unique cards out of a possible 343. This means that we saw 67% of the cards that we were eligible to see inside of today's box. Our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was in blue with 92% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 12 of the 343 cards, giving us just 3% coverage of the set. This time around, our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was a tie between white and green, each seeing 8% coverage. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in the non-foil space, we saw 98% of the commons and 93% of the uncommons, along with 31 rares for 34% coverage and 3 non-foil mythics for 6% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 5% of the commons and uncommons, along with two rares for 2% coverage and a single mythic, also good for 2% coverage. In total, this draft booster box contained 34 rares and 5 mythics in 36 packs. In today's box, we didn't see any duplication among the 12 foils that we saw, but we did see 141 non-foils repeated 298 times for a box duplication rate of 55%. Before we take a look at the value in today's draft booster box, let's review the value of the cards that we could have pulled to establish a baseline. This chart shows all the cards that we can pull from a draft booster pack using non-foil market prices as of June 13th, 2023. Excluding the concept Praetors, there are a few cards to keep an eye out for. They are the Atraxa Grand Unifier in Showcase, which is valued at $22.11, Mondrak Glory Dominus, also in Showcase, valued at $22.21, or Mondrak in Standard Frame, valued at $22.54. Or keep an eye out for any Elish Norn Mother of Machines in any frame that you can get her in. The set also features 11 cards valued between $5 and $10, and 44 cards valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 273 cards are currently valued under a dollar. If you were to add up the market value of all 343 cards using non-foil market prices, you'd be looking at $687.17 in market value. Now let's take a look at the actual value that we saw in today's box starting off in the non-foil space. We didn't see any of the 15 cards valued over $10, and only a single card within the $5 to $10 range, and that was the Phyrexian Obliterator valued at $6.03. We did see 15 of the 44 cards valued over a dollar, though. The remaining 512 non-foils in the box are currently valued less than a buck. In the foil space, we got pretty darn lucky seeing Mondrak Glory Dominus valued at $26.07 in foil. We also saw one other foil valued over a dollar, but the remaining 10 foils in the box are currently valued less than one dollar. So how did this box perform? Well, I purchased this box through a Patreon agreement for $89 even. The current market price for these boxes as of June 13th, 2023 is $95.75. Today's draft booster box contained 36 packs, each with 15 cards, allowing us to see a total of 540 cards. The 32 tokens that we saw have a current market value of $6.88. The 36 basic lands are currently valued at $16.58, thanks mostly due to the 13 Phyrexian full art lands that we saw. The 343 commons are currently valued at $14.89. The 122 uncommons are currently valued at $14.35. The 34 rares have a current market value of $17.12. And finally, the 5 mythics are valued at $41.58. 
add it all up, and the grand total for this box comes up to be $111.41 in market value, which is a gain of $22.41 over the price I paid, and means that we saw a return of 125% of my purchase price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, and the numbers look like this. In total, we saw just seven cards valued over two bucks in this box, and they have a current combined value of $48.40, which means that those seven cards represent 43% of the total box value. Thank you so much for watching. I want to take a moment to give a special shout out to all of the channel members. Your support helps fund this operation and allows me to create the content that you all enjoy. If you're not yet a channel member, I invite you to consider becoming one. By joining, you'll gain early access to videos and many other perks. If you're interested in supporting the channel but don't want to become a member, there are several other ways that you can show your support. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue with the channel. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do something amazing.